Usually at this time, after legislation, we have a time for citizens' concerns. Uh, do we have any questions for council? Come on up. Surely, thank you. Good evening. Uh, John Droska Street. Um, I grew up in Defiance about 30 years ago, and I'm eyeing a return, I'm in town visiting, and I'm uh, impressed, to say the least, by the changes I'm seeing. Some are a little sad, there's no more mags, there's no more mini golf over at Jig's Root Beer, but some are positively exciting. See, I remember the old uh, GM plant out by the Kroger or the Johns Mansville right here in downtown. And as I was driving in last night, I saw the decked factory off of 24. And it reinforced an idea to me that good old fashioned American muscle and sweat is still at a premium here in Defiance. Now, ever since I moved away, I felt heartstrings pulling me back here to my first hometown. And now I know why. I want the world to know defiance the way I know and remember defiance. So I'm here before you today to introduce discussions on the next great endeavor for Defiance Ohio, your next NFL franchise, the <laughs> Defiance Builders, named for the power and ingenuity that keeps defiance running. With a bold color scheme invoking local nature and the blue collars of defiance which have built this country for decades an iconic aggressive logo reminiscent of the wartime sacrifice of rosie the riveter but with a 21st century upgrade and a brand new state of the art stadium nicknamed the fort obviously a nod to defiance's rich american history and every time the builders score a touchdown we're going to blow off replica cannons like they have over on the library campus just imagine with me Fourth down on the 23-yard line, seven seconds left, no timeouts, fields in shotgun. Takes the snap, fades back, blitz coming, pressure left side, he goes to the sideline, scrambles, scores up a play, opposite corner, touchdown! Kelsey, one hand, both feet, six on the board for the builders, sound the cannonade, goodness gravy, smell the baby! There you have it. Thank you. You've already got your play-by-play -play man right in front of you. The first team employee. Does he bring financing for this stadium, the fort? Uh, well, I, I may have something for you there, if I may, if I may continue. Thank you, sir. Mr. Corbin. Now, look, you're probably saying, sir, this is a small city, uh, possibly even a large town. How can we possibly support such an audacious suggestion? And look, as a former Defiance striker, I'd like to tell you that this is a football town, and maybe it is, but we all know it's a football town. I have memories of cowbells clattering across the fields on Saturday afternoons at Defiance College games where my father used to teach, or the high drama of Friday Night Lights out on Palmer Drive. And look no further than Green Bay, a small industrial Midwestern town with a national fan following. This is Ohio, people. The greats of the game are enshrined here, immortalized. Meanwhile, the Bengals are one stiff breeze away from getting blown into Kentucky, and the Browns, the Browns? I, I don't think I need a joke for the Browns. Trust me, Defiance is ready for this. Now, I could bore you with all sorts of research about the economic impact of merely constructing the stadium, or we could talk about uh, expansion versus relocation. I mean, you know, the Lions are just sitting there doing nothing. <laughs> or how we're even going to get Travis Kelsey and Justin Fields onto the same team, or who's going to build the fort. And I think maybe it should be decked, because they've already built two huge monuments out there. They're probably clamoring to throw up a third. Why not? Let's reach out, huh? But... Rather than get into all those details, wouldn't you rather close your eyes, feel that cold winter air against your skin, see the neon green of the turf, the black and blue as the builders take the gridiron, and live out one more audacious February memory with me that could only be written in defiance? Overtime here, next score wins, first and goal from the three, Fields under center, takes a snap, hands off, Lynch, he dies, over, spins, he scores! 
scores! The unretired Marshawn Lynch puts six on the board, and the Defiance Builders have won Super Bowl 62! Goodness gravy, smell the baby! It's your move, Defiance. Let's bring the Builders home. And by the way, I have t-shirts out back for $35 or two for $65. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Do we have a motion to adjourn for the evening? Sure. Um, okay. Move. Second. Second. All those in favor of adjourning for this evening? Aye. Aye.